Hi, I'm Mrs. Dean Math. Welcome to my channel. We're going to be covering Pythagorean Theorem in 8th grade math. In every right triangle, the two sides that form the right angle are called your legs. And then the longest side, which is opposite of your right angle, is called the hypotenuse. In the Pythagorean Theorem, it says that in a right triangle, you can add the lengths of the squares of the legs, and it equals the square of the length of the hypotenuse. So we're going to call the legs A and B, and the hypotenuse we're going to call C. So our formula is A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And when you're talking about Pythagorean Theorem, this is one of the most common examples or pictures you're going to see to represent to this. So if I were to take the length of this side on the bottom, that would be a length of 3. If I take the length of this other leg, that one's 4, and the length of the hypotenuse is 5. So what it's saying is 3 squared, which is 9, plus 4 squared, which is 16, equals 5 squared, which is 25. So we're going to just test it here real quick. So I'm saying that 16 plus 9 equals 25. And I do know that this is a true statement. So I can take any number side length of the legs. So that would be my two sides that form the right angle. I can square those, add them together, and they're going to equal the length of the third leg, the hypotenuse, the longest side, squared. So let's try this formula, and we have a couple of side lengths here, and we're going to plug it in and see if we can solve for the hypotenuse in this case, my letter C. Now for your A and B, since they are the two legs that we're adding together, because we're adding them, it doesn't matter what order we put them in. So I can assign A to either one and B to the other one. So I have eight is my A and 15 is my B and H is my C. So I have eight squared plus 15 squared equals H squared. Eight squared is 64, 15 squared is 225, and h squared is what I'm solving for. And don't be afraid to use your calculator for these. There is a button on the calculator that has the squared symbol. So if you type in the number and hit that button, it automatically calculates for you. Then if I add these together, I get 289 equals h squared. So now I need to find out what number times itself equals 289. So I'm going to undo my exponent. And in order to undo my exponent, I need to square root both sides. Okay, so this side on the left, we're going to find the square root of 289, which is 17. And the square root of h squared is h. That square root and the squared cancel each other out. So in this case, my hypotenuse equals 17 inches. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a line here just so we can keep these separated. So in my next problem, I'm given one leg and the hypotenuse. So I'm going to have to plug this in a little bit differently. Since the leg that I'm missing is A, this other leg, 12 inches, is going to be my B, and 15 is going to be my C. So now when I plug this in, A squared plus 12 squared equals 15 squared. So I still have a squared, can't do much with that yet. 12 squared is 144, and I know from the last problem that 15 squared is 225. So now I'm solving these algebraically. The next step is going to be to isolate the a squared. So in this case, I'm going to have to subtract 144 from both sides. So now I have left a squared equals... This one equals 81 when I subtract. So my last step here is to square root both sides. So this side cancels. So I have A equals the square root of 81 is 9. So in this case, A equals 9 inches. The one thing you do want to make sure, and especially when you're given the hypotenuse, 
is that your answer is less than the hypotenuse. Since A and B, my two legs squared, have to add up to equal C squared, then both A and B have to be smaller than C. And C is your hypotenuse, and hypotenuse is opposite the 90 degree angle, so it always has to be the longest side. Now, we can also use the Pythagorean theorem to solve for different parts in 3D figures. So in this case, we have a box and we need to ship a rolled up poster in the box. So we're given the measurements of the box and we wanna find what is the longest poster that will fit in the box. So all it gives us is the exterior dimensions. The length is 20 inches, the width is five, and the height is five. So there's a couple of different steps we have to take here. And the first step is we need to find this length P. P is the length of the diagonal of the base of our box. T is actually the diagonal inside the box from the top corner to the bottom opposite corner. And that's gonna be your longest distance inside the box. So we wanna find what length of a rolled up poster would fit diagonally inside the box. So first we have to solve for P. So P goes with, here's my 90 degree angle because it is a box. So P goes with L and then this over here would be five because this is still your width, this is your W. So I can go ahead and fill in my Pythagorean theorem with those dimensions. So first I have five squared, that'll be my A. 20 squared could be my B, and that's gonna equal P squared, because we're solving for P first. So five squared is 25, 20 squared is 400. So I'm gonna add 25 plus 400, and that equals P squared. But I am gonna stop right there, because the next thing I need is this distance with this distance in order to find T, my new hypotenuse. But I'm gonna have to square P, and in this case it's already squared. So I'm gonna just use 425 to plug in for the next equation. So now this side, this height is five, that's gonna be my A squared, and then P, is gonna be my B squared, and it's already there for me at 425. So I'm gonna go ahead and just plug that in like it is. And then T squared is my C. So now I can solve this. Five squared is 25. 25 plus 425 is 450. And my last thing is to square root both sides. So T is going to equal, and in this case, this is not a perfect square. So I'm gonna go to my calculator, and when I plug this into the calculator, I end up with 21.2 rounded to the nearest tenth. So that means that the longest rolled poster I can fit in this space where the T is would be a 21 inch poster. If it's any longer than 21 inches, it's not gonna fit in that space. Thanks for joining me today. I hope this video on Pythagorean theorem in eighth grade math has helped you understand how to use the formula. We will have a couple more videos covering Pythagorean theorem and you can find those linked below. I'm Mrs. D Math. Thanks for joining me today. Bye.